But in reference to your physical body, you should be wearing knee pads. You don't want to wear your knees out. Um, the movement of these big condensers and, and gas furnaces, you need to be able to methodically move them. You don't, be, you don't want to be taking chances as far as moving them. Because what's nice about our field on the other side is nothing else is really heavy. It's just the equipment, and you, and you are moving the equipment maybe once a day. You know, or maybe two times a day because you're doing an installation. It's going to take at least half a day maybe to do a change out, maybe a full day to do a change out. And the rest of it's like duct work and piping and different things. Are, they're fairly light. And so you need to know how to lift things so you don't get hurt. Uh, you, don't want to, you want to protect your back. You only have one back. And so those are some things to, to keep in mind uh, as far as your, your body wearing out over time. I think that's a, a very good point. Uh, my knees today hurt from from when I used to run across rafters without knee pads, and I could do it very fast. But you know, I'm, I'm paying for it today, and I've never been you know physically strong, so I was always having to think of different ways of moving furnaces. And I've worked with a lot of people that were extremely strong, and they would just go and grab a furnace and just put it into place. And I think that's very dangerous, even though you're strong enough to do that. Always be thinking about your back and how you're lifting. So now we have so many things that can help us. We have different types of dollies that we can move equipment upstairs with. We have um, so many different lifting platforms we can use to move furnaces, lift things up. And, you know, at one point I learned about the pulley system, being able to use different types of uh, block and shackles. And I can lift compressors up on the roof or use a ladder and, uh, and use some pulleys to lift a compressor up into a condenser. So I'm not leaning over with all that weight on my back. So there's just things you can do that help you think about stuff. And just thinking, hey, I really like working with people that aren't, you know, physically strong because they're always thinking, I can't lift that. And I get, then get to show them how to do it. They're like, well, that's really cool. And they're really excited to see how they can move these heavy things without having to have that physical strength. And even if you do have that physical strength, you got to be thinking, you know, you won't have it forever. And that's a lot of strain on your back. Even though your muscles can be strong, your back is only, you know, so strong. And sooner or later, it'll be painful.